good thing. We want it to feel really numb. Where's that guy? <laughs> Has she ever been under anesthesia before? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> It's definitely a weird feeling for them waking up. on Swansea, right? Yes, I already called Perfect. them and they were ready to go. We just got to pick them up. Okay, good. So, um, do y'all live out of town? Yeah, we live out of town. Okay, do y'all have any, like, children's Motrin, children's Tylenol on you, or whatever she takes for pain usually? Um, no. Okay. Not on us right now, at the house. Yeah. So, I would probably stop at United and go in and grab some ibuprofen Tylenol for her. So we can't send any, any pain medication for her since she is 11. So they're really picky with that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what we want you to do is alternate that ibuprofen and Tylenol around the clock for the next few days. And is it preferred the liquid or should be able to swallow the pills? Or? Um, whatever you think, whatever she usually takes for pain. Will she be able to use a straw and all that? No, no? straws. No. no straws for three. So, um, they also, I don't know if they told y'all yet, but one of the brackets popped off with one of the t uh, teeth. So it's number 14. So you'll just tell the orthodontist when you go that one of the brackets popped off and they'll replace it and everything. Mm -hmm. if there any issues. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like an elk. <laughs> <laughs> We're all done. We're gonna get.
get you home here in just a little bit. She gonna be in pain for a little bit. So she has some numbing in there. So that should last a few hours. But we want you to go ahead, you know, like I said, if you can stop at United and grab some of that pain medication, have her take that really quickly. Um, just so we can keep her comfortable. Okay. So just around the clock for the next few days, you know, every three to four hours, have her take the Motrin, Tylenol, alternate those, you know, just every three to four and hours. Just two milligrams or fifteen? Mm -hmm. Um, it just depends on which one you get. Okay. So she's taking the pill form of the ibuprofen. She could take about four hundred milligrams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So two of those. Yeah, is it a prescription just for an antibiotic then? Yes, so she, we're sitting in an antibiotic and a mouthwash. So really today, all we want her to do is just focus on her pain. Yeah. Um, so just those pain meds, letting her rest. You know, I would start out first with some clear liquids, make sure she tolerates that well. So, um, nothing carbonated, so what right. clear? Um, Gatorade, water, tea, um, apple juice, kind of some stuff like that. You know, stay away from the carbonation, anything too acidic, anything spicy, that can kind of irritate those sites for the next few days. So, just being careful with that, but, you know, try it. What would she be able to eat? So, today, non-chewing diet. So, kind of like any... <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> so anything cold is going to really be her friend. So ice cream, smoothies, you know, milkshakes. You still have to spoon it. Right, smoothies. exactly. So all that good stuff, popsicles that are kind of like uh, melted down to where she can eat it with a spoon. Um, kind of stuff like that. And that's what's going to help her out. It's okay. You're fine. All good, sister. You're good. So she might complain a little bit of a sore throat. That's normal. It's just from that little tube that was there. Yeah. So anything cold, like I said, it's gonna help her out. Is there a smoothie place near here? There is. Right up the street, there is something called Tropical Smoothie. Yeah, yeah. Boy. <laughs> that Wait. one's a really good one. <laughs> it's uh, on your way to the pharmacy, so. <laughs> yep, <laughs> right on that left-hand side of Santi. So yeah, all that good stuff. Um, keeping her hydrated, you know, everything, water, tea, Gatorade, just pushing that fluid on her, and that's just gonna help flush everything out, make her feel back to normal by tomorrow. Um. And then tomorrow she'll start on her antibiotic and mouthwash. Oh, tomorrow. Yes. So just we're just doing pain meds today, starting those two tomorrow. So no rinsing, no brushing today. When she starts that tomorrow, just have her very gently brush. What does she get to eat tomorrow? So she, can, if she's ready for it, she can do like soft foods. Anything you can mush between your fingers. Okay. Yeah, like mashed potatoes. Eggs. Yep, mashed potatoes, yeah. pasta, stuff like that. Favorite. <laughs> and then she'll continue that for at least five days. That soft diet. <laughs> You're doing good. You're good. You just rest, okay? <laughs> Um, yeah, so starting the brushing tomorrow, just very gentle, and then, um, that Paradex, which is that mouthwash, will start as well tomorrow, and just make sure she's just very gently rinsing, kind of just tilting the head back and forth, no vigorous swishing or spitting, so just being careful with that. I know. And then on the fifth day, which is Monday, she'll start this irrigating syringe. So this is just for um, those two bottom wisdom teeth that were taken out. So warm salt water is just going to go in this one, and we just want her irrigating those sites out every time after eating. So you might have to kind of help her with that. Just flush those out until you see no food come out of it. 
just as many times as she needs, so no sooner than Monday for that one. There's a gauze in there. It's okay. So, no, if they are 13 and under, we can't prescribe, like, medication, um, mm -hmm. like, pain meds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if they're 13 or above, we usually can give, like, Tylenol number three. Yeah. Um, but if they're younger than that, we just can't give it. They won't fill it, so. Okay. And then there's... What's wrong? We'll change her gauze out before she leaves. And then there's also extra ones in here that y'all will change out about every 30 minutes. You're about to. So just keep her head elevated the next few nights, and that's going to help, you know, decrease that pressure in there, which will help decrease pain. So that really helps out with that. And then there's an ice pack, so have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to help with all that pain, swelling, bleeding. That's okay. It's all right. We'll get that out in a little bit, okay? And I'm going to send y'all home with an extra one, too, so she can do it at the same time, ice and Oh, real good. Thank you. But otherwise, she's just resting. As much as she rests, the less chance of nausea. So just keeping her well rested, hydrated, and nothing strenuous for about five days to a week. Okay. We're almost there, okay? this over to you. Yeah. Do you have any questions? On the side over here. On the side. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants to grab the car, bring it to this back under that little covered area back here. Okay. Um, we can get her all locked up. Oh, I'm going to take it out for you. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Watch out, Mom. Are you ready to get unhooked from everything? Go back, Bubba. Can I see this arm? Just lean this way so she 
It was fantastic. <laughs> this bear. Doing good, little bub. You doing good. Check. Oh, 